Welcome back. Today uh, we are diving into some most exciting and educational challenge in Wasp Juice Shop. Whether you are a seasoned professional or security newbies, these challenges are designed to shape your skills and broaden your understanding of web security vulnerabilities. So in this video, uh, I will walk you through a specific uh, two-star challenge, challenges. Uh, explaining the vulnerabilities, uh, they highlight the why this issue exists, and by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid grasp of common security flaws and how to exploit them responsibly. Uh, remember, the goal here is to learn and improve our defenses, not to harm. So what I'm first I'm going to do, I'm gonna uh, access the scoreboard. So uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we are going to solve the uh, login admin uh, two star challenges. So um, this uh, challenge showcases the broken authentication mechanism that allow an attacker to log in with administrator credential. Uh, this vulnerability exists due to weak password policies and the lack of multi-factor authentication, uh, making it easier for an attacker to compromise high-privilege accounts. For this challenge, I'm going to use the SQL injection. I will craft a SQL query and see if it works. Uh, or 1 equals 1 dash dash password 1. So we are successful solved the challenge, uh, login admin or login with administrator account. All right, so I'm gonna move to the next one. The next one is the password strength. Um, here is asking us to log in with administrator's user credential without previously changing them or applying or applying the SQL injection. Um, let's try something. So we know that the admin at juicejob.op, um, I'm just lazy, but I'm going to copy it and then I'm gonna go back. I'll try to guess the password. Again, paste an admin123. It is admin123, log in and we successfully solved this challenge. Uh, let's move to the next one. Oh, yes. So this challenge underscore the importance of strong password and proper policy po password policy. Uh, this vulnerability exists because of the weak uh, password requirements, making it easier for an attacker to guess or brute force the credentials, compromising account security. Okay, uh, next one is to view uh, uh, someone's um, shopping basket. Uh, for this challenge, I'm going to uh, use the burp suite. I'm going to, uh, I'm planning actually to intercept the uh, HTTP request, modify them, and then forward them back uh, further. So for this, uh, we're going to set up uh, to set the settings, proxy se proxy settings, to send our traffic to localhost and to the port 8080. All right, so we already have something in the basket. I will start intercepting the traffic. Uh, let's refresh it and then see if it captured anything. So yes, we have a get request. I'll forward this one. We have rest up no. This is not something we are looking for. Next, forward, forward. Uh, right. And we have a um, get request to uh, following uh, directory or a URI. It says rest basket number one. What I'm going to do, I'm changing it to three, for example, and forward it. Uh, all right, so here, we were able to successfully solve the challenge. Um, um, and actually we were able to see uh, another user's um, basket. Uh, this challenge demonstrates the broken access control mechanism that allow um, unauthorized users to view other users' the shopping basket. The vulnerability arises from in in insufficient access control checks, which fails to properly segregate user data. Next, let's see the next challenge. Um, for this, I'll stop for now so many uh, now is asking us to give a devastating oh no that's just one i'm sorry uh, admin section um, administration section for this challenge is very easy uh, we have to just find it like a scoreboard administration and here you go so um i successfully solved the challenge admin section so uh, this challenge highlights again the broken access control mechanism that permit an authorized access to administrative functions uh, this vulnerability exists due to proper implementation of access control and role-based permissions, exposing sensitive administrative features to attackers. Um, I'll, I'll pin this and then I'll create another uh, tab and I will look for next challenge. Uh, depreciated interface. Uh, use a dedicated uh, to uh, B2B interface that was not properly uh, shut down. Um, I will, for this challenge, I'm going to uh, read uh, the uh, hints. So, uh, simply using a depreciated interface sufficient to solve this challenge. No attack or exploit necessary. Not all parts are clearly removed. Code base. Okay. So, uh, so the clue lies in, uh, in in these two sentences. Is one in this sentence? So, the the juice shop represents a classic business to business customer application, but it also has some enterprise customer for which it will be inconvenient to order large amount of quantities. 
Okay, so I think I know what is it, because in the last video I was able to play around with this uh, web application and I uh, discovered that the, uh, here uh, uh, we have something like uh, another clue. It says invoicing, invoices. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to upload something like like an XML file or something like that and say uh, randomly. And yes, we are successfully solved the challenge, uh, depreciated interface. Um, and this challenge showcases the risk of using depreciated interface. And this vulnerability exists because of the security misconfiguration uh, where outdated interfaces are not properly dis disabled, allowing unauthorized access to uh, legacy systems and data. Uh, okay, so let's move to the next one. Uh, next challenge is asking us to, uh, um, to register with a user with an empty email or password. So it's the same concept. I'm going to use the proxy and then intercept the traffic. Uh, while I'm registering, changing the data and forward it to the server. New customer, let's say test, test.com, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Security question, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And so don't forget to, and let's start registering. Uh, burp suite, here is the uh, on, looks like a JSON, an APL call. Uh, it's supposed to an API, uh, delete this one and then this one this one and security answer and forward 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 and that's it uh, looks like we might not solve this problem uh, nope so uh, we I was able to successfully solve a challenge empty user registration this challenge demonstrates improper input validation during the user registration the vulnerability exists because the application fails to validate and enforce mandatory fields allowing the creation of invalid user accounts that could be exploited by an attacker and See what is the next one? Uh, empty five star. So for this one, that's why I saved it in here because it looks like I'm able to delete it, some data from this administration uh, uh, site. Um, let's see, section of this website. So let's try it. Okay. Uh, nope. Oh, because it's off. Uh, not allowed. Oh, probably because I'm not logged in. Um, one uh, or one equals one. And dash dash. And let's see. All right, so here you go. Five star feedback. Challenge has been solved. So this challenge highlights the broken access control mechanism that allows modification of user feedback. Um, the vulnerability exists due to improper handling of user permissions and input validation, enabling, enabling a malicious user to manipulate with feedback data. Feedback data. All right, let's see what is the next one. Uh, Login with MC Safety Search. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use the hint. And another thing is that uh, the clue uh, looks like it's somewhere in the MC Search lyrics or singers lyrics. Uh, oh, but um, we have a problem. So generally, I know what this. Uh, I think I know. I think I passed it this challenge some time ago. Uh, See where is it? Just search. Where this guy is? Yeah. Hmm. Admin CSO. Here you go. Let's try Mr. Nudo. Rapper's pet name is Mr. Nudo. Mr. Dot Nudo. Again, and here we go. We solved this challenge. So in general, this challenge underscored the risk of the weak password policies and the lack of multi-factor authentication. The vulnerability exists because of the poor password management policies, allowing attackers to use known credentials or to utilize the open source, uh, open source intelligence to gain unauthorized access. Okay, uh, let's do the scoreboard and let's see what is the next one. Uh, Meta Joe stalking is to find John's security questions by looking at an upload of him to the photo wall and use it to reset his password. Uh, all right, so let's let's look. It's exciting, looks like. i open this. I think I have to save it. And yeah, replace. Um, metadata. X. So, uh, yeah, it's always, it's not letting me to. Uh, uh, proxy. Proxy, no proxy. And then advance 
let's try one more time. Okay, so check files for metadata info, uh, view metadata, choose a file, uh, so downloads. All right, so let's see, it was asking us to find uh, location, huh? Degrees. see what is in here so it looks like that photo was taken in here uh, in this area and that's not what i was trying to uh john uh, let's find let's find out login forgot password mm. that's h dot o p okay I think also um, this challenge demonstrates the risk of sensitive data exposure through social uh, engineering and open source intelligence. The vulnerability arises because of the poor implementation of security questions and answers, making it easier for an attacker to gather necessary information to reset the password. So make sure. Uh, no, we don't need GitHub. Scoreboard, geostalking, and we have an NFT takeover. Uh, oh, again. So uh, I'm going to duplicate that one. And I think, please send me the Jewish chatbot NFT. That's what I, um, I was thinking to try this one for, in order to solve that challenge. Okay, so we have an NFT in here. And then the next one is to, uh, no, that's not, not good. Uh, I need that one. Mm. Okay, so. Let's try this passphrase and find the uh, uh, private key or to generate the private key from this uh, uh, from this passcode. Yo, beep 39. Uh, okay, so we have the mnemonic in here. Uh, Ethereum, since we all know that it, NFT sits on Ethereum. Uh, let's see, private key. Let's try this private key. And, all right, so I'm successfully solved the challenge. Um, this challenge highlights the risk associated with improper access control and Web3 applications. This vulnerability exists because of the weak security measures protecting digital assets and smart contracts, allowing attackers to gain control over the valuable NFTs. Okay, uh, let me look for another for the next. Uh, next challenge is asking for security policies. Uh, for this challenge, I just uh, I will try just to look for it. Uh, okay, so it says security text. Mm, then let's see this one, security text. Site. No, nope. this doesn't work. Um, let's try this. Okay, so here you go. So we were able to um, find this text file. It looks like here it's some information about how to behave or uh, requirements for white hiking. This is the CSF, she's CSAF. Have more time, please. Um, highly suggested to review. Let's see if uh, oh, that's... Okay, so we successfully solved the security policy. Next is going to be the six, similar to John's security questions, and, but in this question is asking us to use the EMAS. Uh, so to try to find the security questions, EMAS security questions. Emma, Louis, Shop that uh, sh that op oh completely oh. forgot ah uh, no no forgot password Emma. and then I'm going to use photo wall and she has a picture posted and here we you can see it says it sec probably this is the clue. That, uh, that, oh, B. Oh, hmm, interesting. Um, let's see. 
Administration. Ah, huh, that's an icon. Oh, I forgot A. Oh no. And then the security AT. Sec. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here you go. Successfully solved uh, the challenge. So, um, in this case, uh, this challenge demonstrates the risk of sensitive data exposure through the social engineering and, again, open source intelligence. Uh, vulnerability again arises from the poor implementation of security questions and answers, making it easier for an attacker for attackers to gain necessary information to reset the password. All uh, right, and then we have a weird crypto inform the shop about an algorithm or a library. It should be it should definitely not use the way it does. It's a good one, I think. What I'm gonna do? Uh, what we're going to do? Uh, proxy. I will try to capture the traffic and look for clues in that traffic. Mm, intercept. Let's see what is happening. So we have a token. Okay, so this is cool token. Let's try to... Uh, uh. Okay, proxy. Let's stop. Sending data to... Proxy, stop. No proxy, okay. Uh, base. 64. Let's try to decode um, that hash or that data. Then we have username and we have a password, I think. A challenge is referring to this hash. Find the hash. Or identify. Uh, type in here. Identify. And it looks like it's possible. An MD5 algorithm. An MD5 algorithm. So, uh, scoreboard. MD5 hint. Okay, and here it says inform the shop about an algorithm. What I'm thinking is to send them a customer feedback. Comment MD5, and then we have 10 minus 2. Submit. Score deluxe. Scoreboard. And probably this is a good point to stop. I covered everything from broken authentication and access control, improper input validation, and cryptographic issues. So um, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.